Hello, it is Wednesday, December the 29th, and this is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Hello and welcome. Today we continue reading in Matthew chapter 5. We will be reading verses 21 through 26. Here's the word of the Lord. <clears throat> you have heard it you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, sister Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fires of hell. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Settle matters quickly with your adversary who is taking you to court. Do it while you are still together on the way or your adversary may hand you over to the judge and the judge may hand you over to the officer, and you may be thrown in prison. Truly, I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, A Reconciled Heart, and it's by Stephanie Hendrickson. Here's what Stephanie writes. My husband and I sometimes joke that our oldest should consider becoming a lawyer when he gets older. A stickler for details and exactness, our oldest will take what you say and follow it to a T. That includes any loopholes your words may have or may not have created. He follows the letter of the law, especially when it benefits him. After Jesus shared in his sermon who was blessed in the kingdom, he continued to expound on what the kingdom is and is not. Jesus took our idea of right and wrong and pushed them further. We would agree that murder is wrong, but Jesus goes further beyond the letter of the law to include hatred of others. The heart, hidden away from the public view much of the time, can be as guilty as the hand holding a murder weapon. The heart must be clean, lacking the stains of broken relationships with both God and others. Our gifts of worship are not worthy if given with an unreconcilable heart. Is there anyone you need to reconcile with? Don't wait. Life is precious and fleeting. Go to them today. The hymn today is Thy Heart Right with God by Alicia A. Hoffman. Is thy heart right with God, washed in the chrism blood, cleansed and made holy, humble and lowly, right in the sight of God. And from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct according to what their deeds deserve. And this is your daily devotion for Wednesday, December the 29th. Have a blessed day.